Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna do a simple look. How do you make up with glasses? Okay, come through for this look. Um, I actually lost a lot of footage, so yeah. We're just gonna, you're gonna see me just hop in doing eyeshadow with my eyeshadow be done. Sorry. Um, so the eyeshadow palette that I was using in this video was the Morphe, I think it's 25B, oh boy. And mainly because it has a lot of neutral colors and I mess with neutral colors really. Um, so yeah, I'm just going in with a burnt orange color and just applying that to my lid using brushes from Morphe, but this brush in particular is from BH Cosmetics. And I think this was their, I don't know if it's called, Paradise or something brush set. I'll link that down below actually. But yeah, I'm taking that big fluffy brush. Ugh, brush. <laughs> it's actually one of my favorite brushes from Morphe. Um, it was like gum in a collection. Don't remember what it is, unfortunately. Ooh. I'm just taking the other color and I'm just applying it to the outer lids. Now, I will be doing my hair in this video and excuse my lace. I've had this wig for like a good three months. So honestly, that's kind of why it looks like that. Mm, yeah. Um, so I'm just getting this flat brush from the dollar store, but it's actually from Wet n Wild. I'm just going in with that color right there and applying it to my lid. Um, you should see me working that in, pat that in. I've been doing a lot of fast forward lately, um, because it's necessary. So I'm taking that E9 brush, which is basically a small blending brush. I'm taking that chocolate color and popping that in the outer corners of my lid. Now this is something to wear with glasses. Obviously I want people to see my transition on my lids, but it's not, it doesn't have to be like super dramatic and super pigmented. Um, that color right there is just oatmeal. It's a pan from Coastal Scents and I'm applying up the same brush. Um, under my brow bone and then I took this Born This Way uh, foundation in the color Jesus <laughs> in the color caramel I think um, yeah so we're taking and we're just contouring our face and that's where the ColourPop um, no filter I think it's a no filter foundation but I use it to contour my face honestly is my favorite Morphe brush and we're just blending that in sis. Um, I put it on my chin just because I have a double chin so it's like to conceal it somewhat but honestly when you're contouring your face with a cream you really do need a powder if you want to see have that chisel look and obviously I don't have that chisel look in this but it's simple like I said you want to be it want to be nice but it doesn't have to be like super dramatic so right there I'm taking some concealer and I'm taking Born This Way in the color Mocha and then Milani Coulson. Honestly guys, they're about the same color. And then that's me just taking a beauty blender. Slightly damp, you don't need to drench your beauty blender at all actually. So if you do, what I noticed with this formula is it just spreads and then now it gets in your beauty blender. And you know beauty blender is really sucking up your product anyway, so yeah. Alright guys, so I'm taking the Laura Mercier setting powder and I have a couple powders actually. Before the Laura Mercier, I was actually using the Ben Nye powder a lot. Um, and then when I ran out that, I was using the Black Radiance powder. And I'm just showing you guys how the Black Radiance powder is basically empty. So that's what made me go get a new setting powder. Now, the Laura Mercier powder I have is actually in the color Banana, but if you really look at it, it's like translucent. Like there's no yellow undertone in this at all to me, but whatever. After you like dust it off, which I will be dusting it off with a Y7 um, pointed brush from Morphe, it 
like looks ashy on my complexion and it looks kind of patchy so I don't know So I'm just dusting off right there as you guys can see and look what I like I said what I like about it is that it sets everything and honestly I look snatched even though I don't think it's yellow enough but I do look snatched but I look kind of ashy too. So I'm going to take just a small little brush and I'm going to go under my eyes because when I put setting powder on whatever kind of powder it is it just makes my eyes look very very small like I have small eyes to begin with, so I just, just look really small. I don't like it. And I'm just pointing out the fact that it does look kind of patchy to me, but you guys may not even notice it. So like I said, once you set it, the powder just melts into your skin, which is awesome. And so I'm going in with this lip color. This is Artist Couture and the color Angel Baby Lipstick. Um, I was so happy to find this because I thought I lost it for months. And it's really creamy and it has a hint of pink. So that's my vibe to bring my lips some type of color. And I'll take it with that brown lip liner from the salon. This is just the one you get from like your local beauty supply store. If you're not, I don't know what brand, what color. It's whatever. So I just use the pencil up to line my lips up and then I'm gonna pop that lipstick in and then I'm gonna take some lip gloss. So the lip gloss I'm gonna be using is from Revlon and it's the color Supernatural. I've been using this lip gloss for years. So you see how the lipstick looks kind of white? When you put that lip gloss on, it brings a natural soft pink color to your lips. I'm gonna highlight and I'm highlighting today with um, Yas from Artist Couture, especially the pink highlighter. And I can take that and add it under my brow bone too, just give my brow bone, you know, to make that pop too, since I really don't like mess with shimmer eyeshadows at all. So you see that? That glow? Girl. Girl. Stop it. I'm just taking my contour face brush and whatever product is left on there and I'm just putting that back in um, in the hollows of my cheeks just to give my face some color because that setting powder just doesn't do it for me. That has to bring some color back. Then I'm going to go in and use some mascara. So the mascara I'm using today is from Jill Up. I uh, actually got a... So I got a travel size one um, in my box charm box a couple years ago and I've been ordering it and wearing that mascara ever since. It's like my second or third too. So now I'm taking my hair down and sis, excuse my lace, like I have this wig for three months. I made it by hand. It's a frontal and I'll be doing a fine review on that. But basically, I'm just taking the flexi rods out and then I'll fix my hair um I tried to fix my hair on camera that was an epic fail it was so weird I had tried to position my camera at like a weird angle and you guys can see it or you may not see it and we're trying to position my camera in that weird angle to like show you guys how to do my hair it just made it look worse but yeah, so really the key to this color is because I bought the bundle 613 and my front was black. So honestly, when you curl it, like no one will be able to tell the difference. People just think you just put highlights back your head, but really sis, I have 613 in the back and a black frontal. So yeah. And it's like who gonna check me though? What? This ain't your hair. This ain't your weed. Okay, this is my hair. Okay. And we just basically take our flexi rods out just to bring the whole look together. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, basically guys, I had to comb it out and style it off camera because the angles I was getting with this just was not working. Like I look like someone's grandma. We ain't doing that today. But anyway guys, this is the final look. Check it out, get in tune. Like I do is add your glasses, your spectacles, and you're popping. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.